Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are having one very interesting cubic equation for which we will find out all three solutions. I will showcase two different ways to solve this problem. Equation is x minus 1 whole cube plus x minus 2 whole cube plus x minus 3 whole cube equal to 4 minus x whole cube plus 5 minus x whole cube. So let me begin this video by writing method number 1 and it is the method without substitution. So let me take all the term to LHS first. So x minus 1 whole cube plus x minus 2 whole cube plus x minus 3 whole cube minus 4 minus x whole cube minus 5 minus x whole cube equal to 0. Now I will insert this minus into the bracket. So it will be symmetrical in x and constant term. So let me write here x minus 1 whole cube plus x minus 2 whole cube plus x minus 3 whole cube plus x minus 4 whole cube plus x minus 5 whole cube equal to 0. Now I will write the formulas. Literally I will expand it and I will then sum. This is method number 1. So I can write x minus 1 whole cube straight away. We know the formula a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. this way. Now I will write x minus 2 whole cube. So I will change in place of 1 we will write 2 this time. 2 cube minus 3a square b. So x square times 2 plus 3ab square. This time it will become 2 square. Next is x minus 3 whole cube. Now this is the complete expansion of our LHS. Now you can see if I will simply add our LHS, then it will become 5x cube. x cube, how many times it is? 5 times. Now there is sigma n cube. Let me write here. So I will simply add also. 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125. Once you will sum up, you will get 2, 2, 5. This is one way or you can apply formula also. Minus 3x square. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So it will become 15. Now 3x. 1 is square plus 2 is square plus 3 is square plus 4 is square plus 5 is square. So if you will add it will come out 55. How it is? 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. Because numbers are smaller. So we can think about direct calculation. Otherwise formulas are there. Sigma n the sum of n natural numbers, it is equal to n n plus 1 by 2. Here we will apply in this column. Then formula is sigma n square for last column, this column. This formula is n n plus 1 to n plus 1 over 6. And then for this column we can use sigma n cube. So that formula is n n plus 1 by 2 whole square. This is formula of sigma n cube. Ultimately you will be having this equation and one side is 0 so I will write equal to 0. Let us frame one cubic equation properly. So I will write this equation as 5x cube. Then we will be having minus 45x square. 15 times 3 it is. Then 33, uh, 3 times 55. So I will write 165x. And then constant term is minus 225 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 5. I will divide x cube minus 9x square plus 33x and minus 45 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. Our SDM is on. I will use SDM by rational root theorem. We can find out eligible factors plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 5, plus minus 9, plus minus 15 and so on. 
leading coefficient is only plus minus one. Once you will take ratio, we will get this set again. So let me put x equal to one if it will satisfy. One minus nine plus thirty three minus forty five. No, it is not. No need to put minus also because forty five plus nine. So that will be fifty four, which is exceeding. So let me put x is equal to three this time. So three cube is twenty seven. Minus nine times nine eighty one. Plus thirty three times nine ninety nine. Minus forty five. So yes, it is minus one twenty six. And plus one twenty six. So it is satisfying our equation. X equal to three is our base solution. We will consider SDM now. So I need to write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So let me write here SDM. Coefficients are one minus nine, then thirty three, then negative forty five. Put one line over there. One would be as it is one. Now we need to multiply with this base solution. So three times one is three minus six. Three times minus six minus eighteen. So I will write here seventeen. No, fifteen it is. Fifteen times three is forty-five. Zero. So here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation. So equation is x square minus six x plus fifteen equal to zero. Let's apply quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b. So I will write six plus minus under the root b square thirty six minus four ac sixty divided by two a so two equal to six plus minus. See it is negative. So complex solution is coming out. I will write i. Twenty-four, so I can write four times six, so two root six by two. This is complete divided by two. So I will write my complex answers three plus minus i root six. So three solutions for this cubic equation is x equal to three real solution and two complex solution three plus minus i root six. Now our method number two, and this method is comparatively easy, I would say, because substitution is there. Let me write our equation first. The complete term to one side, whole cube, x minus three whole cube, x minus four whole cube, x minus five whole cube equal to. Zero. Now you can see three is our central point, central number three, and left hand side it is one two, right hand side it is four five. So better is to consider substitution x minus three equal to suppose a. Now I will write x minus one, so it will become a plus two whole cube. X minus two a plus one whole cube. X minus three, it is already a. Then x minus four, so I will write a minus one whole cube. X minus five, minus two to both sides, so I will write a minus two whole cube equal to zero. Now, if you will combine first and last bracket, second and second last, then that would be easier. These two and these two first and last, this one and this one. So I will write in this manner: a plus two whole cube plus a minus two whole cube. Then I will be writing a plus one whole cube. Then a minus one whole cube. Then our central substitution term, that is a cube, equal to zero. Now you can see if I will apply a cube plus b cube, that is one way, or otherwise we can simply expand. Most of the term will be cancelled out as they are symmetrical. So let me apply a cube plus b cube formula. So a plus b, this is our a, this is our b. Once I will add, I will write only two a, a plus a. Now in second bracket, it is a square plus b square minus ab. So a square I will write, then a plus two whole square, b square I will write, a minus two whole square. 
and minus AB, then it is minus A plus 2 times A minus 2, A square minus B square. So A square minus 4. Similarly here, A plus B, then only 2A will be there. In bracket, first bracket is square, second bracket is square, and then minus times product of both. So it is a square minus 1 using difference of a squares formula plus a cube equal to 0. Now this is 2a. Once you will add these two. So twice a b term will be cancelled out. So I will write straight away 2a square a square plus 4 a square plus 4. So 2a square plus 8 minus a square plus 4. Here also 2a in bracket a square plus 1 a square plus 1. So 2a square plus 2. And then I will be writing minus a square plus 1 plus a cube equal to 0. Now 2a simplify the bracket 2a square minus a square a square plus 12. Here also 2a a square plus 3 plus a cube equal to 0. Now you can see almost simplification is done. Better is to consider a common straight away or expand literally. We can add simply expand it. So then after we can take a common. A is common. So if I will take a common straight away, then it will become 2a square plus 24 here. A is common here. So I will write 2a square plus 6. Then I will close the bracket or better is to add here a square also. Now you can see it is 4a square plus a square. So better is to write 5a square. So now it is 5a square plus 30 inside the bracket. And here it is a equal to 0 a times 5 a square plus 30 equal to 0. Remember our substitution is x minus 3 equal to a. We will use now a times let me write here 5 a square plus 30 equal to 0. So from here we can conclude either a equal to 0 or this bracket 5 a square plus 30 equal to 0 and a was our substitution x minus 3. If a equal to 0 that means x minus 3 equal to 0. So conclusion is x is equal to 3. Real solution is here. If 5a square plus 30 equal to 0 its meaning is 5a square is equal to minus 30 or a square is equal to minus 6. Now square is negative, of course complex solution is about to come. So better is to write minus 1 as i square. Now consider a square root both sides. a square is equal to 6 i square. Take a square root now. a will be equal to plus minus i root 6. Now a was our substitution x minus 3. So now I will write x minus 3 equal to plus minus i root 6. Add 3 to this. I will get our final complex solutions. x equal to 3 plus minus i square root 6. So two complex solutions. Here it is. And one real solution which is x equal to 3. Let's verify real solution. So I will write here verification. I will write x is equal to 3. Okay. So 3 minus 1, it is 2 cube. 3 minus 2, so it is 1 cube. 3 minus 3, it is 0 cube. RHS. 4 minus 3, so it is 1 cube. 5 minus 3, so it is 2 cube. You can say it is true. 8 plus 1 equal to 1 plus 8, 9 equal to 9. That means it is true. 
so our solution is verified real valued solution is x equal to 3 i hope you like this video thank you friends for watching this video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself